Hi, we're going to have some fun today. We're going to take a look at the Sunflower from Shadecraft Robotics. Um, this goes into the category of the Internet of What the Frig. Um, <laughs> this comes from uh, Paul Reynolds' blog. I've mentioned Paul before, the former uh, engineering director at uh, UBeam. <laughs> Classic UB. Anyway, um, yeah, follow his blog if you haven't. So he posted this and I thought it was hilarious. So I just had to have a look at it and share it. Let's take a look at this CES uh, video, shall we? It's an internet connected sunshade because that's what the world needs. Let's go. So we're here at the Shadecraft Robotics Company and we're looking at the Sunflower. Uh, this is a robotic umbrella, literally. Uh, very smart umbrella that has a 360 camera, does have built-in Harman Kardon speakers, is Wi-Fi based, and is intelligent enough to understand where the sun is as it's going on throughout the day. It also is going to be capable of identifying um, heavy gusts of wind, uh, potential storms, and adjusting itself to prevent any damage. You'll notice that the umbrella itself has solar panels, uh, which means that it is self-powered. You don't have to plug this in. Uh, it is Wi-Fi based and eventually it's even going to have some USB ports so that you'll be able to plug in any of your uh, electronic devices as you're in the pool. It is lightweight, so you have the most of the weight is in the base, which is, uh, I believe, 70 pounds, and the rest of the unit is about uh, 30 pounds. has one, uh, I would say, hinge, as you saw. It doesn't have two hinges, but only has one that will adjust to make sure that you're always in the shade. Again, another cool product that we're seeing here at CES. And this is a sunflower from Shadecraft. From <laughs> because the world needs an internet right, connected okay, so sunshade, obviously. Um, like, you know, nice industrial design, right? If you <laughs> want to have an internet connected Wi Fi, Harman Kardon speaker based 360 degree camera, <laughs> sunshade. <laughs> I what, okay, like, no, no, look, okay, but great industrial design, okay, it's just, like, who needs this? Anyway, let's go check it out. The, um, I, by the way, if you want one, you can pre-order one. It's only, look, you might think it's 1725 bucks. Oh, no, that's just the deposit. It's actually, the pre-order price is 6900 that's not like pesos, that's like Yankee bucks. Um, suggested retail price, $8,700. <laughs> Who on earth is going to spend $8,700 on an internet connected shade? <laughs> People who are too lazy to just move. I'm sorry, it's funny. <laughs> it's obviously designed for your deck or whatever. You put your deck chair under it and it, you know, it, it all... <laughs> like, there's only a limited amount of, like... <laughs> There's only so much you can do. Like, if you, you, it's not like you can sit there all day and like you've got to have the thing on one side of you. Maybe if you put it in the, like if you put it through a hole in the center of a table that went around, it might be able to help, but there's only so much it, it's going to do because, you know, angles and things of the sun. It's just uh, like, <laughs> and, anyway, um, besides the total impracticality of this, uh, yes, $8,700, but they actually raised $2 million seed funding for this. I don't know who actually did that, but they reportedly raised $2 million bucks in a seed round for this thing. Um, I hope that didn't come from, like, you know, a pension fund or something like that. Um, so who is behind this magnificence? Well, it's this guy. Ta-da! G'day, Armin. Savada, I won't even try and pronounce the last name, is an American inventor, industrial designer, and entrepreneur based in Los Angeles. Yeah, it looks like a uh, an industrial designer. That's what I want my industrial designers to look like, totally. Um, and there's a Wikipedia page for him. And it, like, I'll link it in. You can read through it. It sounds like, um, <laughs> it sounds like a marketing blurb. And we'll get to that. Um, he's the, after seven years of work, 
he actually designed this chair. Let's have a look. Where is it? Uh, here we go. He's, he designed this chair. It's only priced at $25,000, and there's a whole story behind it, etc. It's all handcrafted and hand-polished by nude virgins, you know. Fantastic. Um, so, yeah, good on him, you know. He's one of these industrial designers. He runs this uh, company, I think, or he's involved in this company, Lounge 22, who do lots of really probably hideously expensive, um, you know, arty things. And, okay, there's a market for that. You know, no problems whatsoever. But let's have a look at this uh, wiki. I sort of went on this uh, Wikipedia page because it just sounded like it was written as a <laughs> as like a marketing blurb. And sure enough, if we actually go into, <laughs> it's interesting to follow the rabbit hole on these things. You know, follow the money. And uh, uh, look, the edits on this Wikipedia page have all been done by, mostly, by social stardom. Uh, so social stardom. Social stardom. So who are social... Who is this? They're the ones who created the page and did most of the edits there. Social stardom. So let's have a look at the contributions of this social stardom, shall we? And uh, one page back in 2006, but then has only created that page and edited that page. So who is and where did this picture come from <gasps> it was uploaded by social stardom is the author and for an glendale for an interview aha let's follow the rabbit hole a bit further who is social stardom they're a indian social stardom.in they're an indian marketing uh company like a digital marketing, digital, all that, you know, all that sort of stuff. Our services, what do they do? Obviously, one of their services are writing Wikipedia pages. Felt like they didn't even try and hide this. Um, <laughs> it's hilarious. App development software, development, UX, social media marketing. There you go. Lead generation and all that sort of good stuff. You know, there you go. Um, so that's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> They've obviously made that Wikipedia page for him. Anyway, um, the sunflower, $7,000 for an internet connected sage shale. Because it's got to have, you know, it's got all the wank. It's, oh, and it's got an app too. There's an app. There's an app. Oh, yes, of course, it's got to have an app. You wouldn't get your $2 million seed funding unless you actually had your app. It's got controlled lighting. It's got everything you need to get seed funding these days it's got wi-fi of course onboard bluetooth and wi-fi and cellular capabilities it's got solar panels you've got to be green you've got to have solar energy it's got to be self-powered it's got to have a hd camera for uh for both security and special moments because you know you want to uh, know if somebody um you know steals your seven thousand dollar internet connected <laughs> shade sale um and for special moments yeah because you'll want a real shitty 360 degree webcam just to take those special memories you know <laughs> as you sit around just on your lounge chair under your seven thousand dollar sage shale <laughs> and it's voice activated it's got all the wankery it's got the finest wankery money can buy and it's got premium Harman Kardon speakers in it. <laughs> oh, like all in the pole. No, it'd probably be in the base, wouldn't it? It'd probably like the uh, the, the base thing down here. Surely. As you're in the pool. It'd be like... 70 yeah. pounds? No, and the rest no. Of the where are the speakers? I don't see pounds. any holes for the speakers. One, Maybe they're uh, under the hinge, top as you of saw. the... It doesn't have two the... hinges, but only has one. Underneath that will the solar adjust panels to there. Make sure that you're Look always that. in the shade. Again, another cool product that <laughs> oh, we're seeing like... here at CES. <laughs> okay, this is I'll sunflower give it to him. From you know, it's a. I'm sure it's engineered quite well. It's just impractical, unbelievable. Anyway, um, and it's got because you've got to have lighted. It's got like everything. No wonder they got their two million dollars seed funding. And let's actually, um, he's also got a bunch of patents. Let's actually go and check out uh, patents on the table and the, uh, look all these chairs and furniture and stuff like that. But he's got a umbrella, intelligent shading objects using global positioning system. It's going to have a GPS too, because you obviously don't know where you actually put it. 
So just in case you want to find it again, maybe it's got tracking because if somebody with that security webcam, if somebody steals your $7,000 shade cloth, you've got to have a GPS tracker to know where it is. Uh, I haven't even looked at these, but there's automatic operation. He's got all the patents on all these things. How much would that cost? Well, when you've got 2 million bucks seed funding, um, that buys you a lot of a lot of patents <laughs> intelligent anyway i like we could go through the <laughs> one of my shady elms and i the caption latitude and longitude of the intel because <laughs> you've got to know the position of your intelligent umbrella <laughs> To count, oh, to, oh, okay, it's got to have the GPS. Oh, like, obviously, to calculate the associated azimuth angle to know where the sun is so that you can get a, maybe a little bit of shade for a little bit of extra time until the sun just goes over like that and you're just going to get baked anyway. It's not going to work at all <laughs> because it's only got a limited tilt angle. You can calculate the number of hours usable per day it is um, <laughs> for any given spot. Uh, to, to the first motor calls in to move an associated azimuth yeah okay so so wherever you because you want it to be fully automatic when you're paying seven grand you want to plonk it just plonk it anywhere you don't take it along to the beach you're carrying your big seven thousand dollar shade umbrella you want to plonk it in the sand put the sand over the base to stop it flopping over of course and um you know it should like come with extendable legs so that you can you know Got a bit of bit more purchase on there because last time I was at the beach, my entire tent blew down. Um, so yeah, it's you know you want to take that into account. But uh, yeah, you'd be you'd be the duck's guts at the beach if you just lying there in your towel and you seven thousand dollars say jail is following you around. I'm sorry, this is just hilarious. <laughs> Anyway, I'll I'll link in the patents down shading and with artificial you gotta have artificial intelligence, some application programming interface, you gotta have AI, another wank buzzword, because yeah. Oh my goodness, like uh, we can I haven't looked at these, but what? Okay. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, I've, I was going to actually do a video on a pattern because I like um and like an old pattern that I was going to do. Um, <laughs> there you go. Australian patent application um, that I did. I would probably look out for a video on that. That's a real old one. I was just going to go through that. But, ooh, look. Beach blades. Oh, you can do it at the beach. You can do it at the beach. Oh, they've thought of everything. They've thought of everything. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, oh, got to buy one. Anyway, that's the Shadecraft Robotics Sunflower Umbrella. <laughs> Go and plonk your seven grand down and pre-order. Anyway, <laughs> new, hang on, news. Where? <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Oh, but yeah, they've been featured. Come to some weird places. Oh, yes, you know, it's because it's, it's got to be on CNN Tech Channel because that's like a real authoritative, you know, and that's just all their marketing wank they've been able to generate for it. <laughs> that moves with the Sun Plays Music Finance. It's been featured on Yahoo and everything. <laughs> anyway, let, let me know what you think down below. That's, that's just a hoot. Sorry, I couldn't uh, resist doing a video for this one. It's great. The sunflower. Catch you next time.